So that was these guys, uh, the Radio Buzz Kills, uh, right here from St. Louis, of course, because this is the super fun local show. So uh, airs every Friday from 5 to 6 p.m. right here on Umsla Radio, uh, the U. So you guys are recording? No. No. Are you going to be recording? We now? will be very soon. Um, in June, we head in to record um, a, a full length. Uh, the title of that will be Get Fired. So the Radio Buzz Kills Get Fired. Uh, we're very excited about that because it's being produced by one of my best friends in the world. Dave Parasite is going to drive down from Chicago to produce it for us. He's That's a punk really rock cool. legend. One of the best punk rock songwriters ever. There's like Dr. No Frank. No bias or anything though, right? No, uh, I, I mean, this is objectively. It's like Dr. Frank, uh, Dave Parasite, and I'll say Ben Weasel, but Dave won't like that. But Ben was a pretty good song. Is Dave listening? Dave is. I hope Dave is listening. I told Dave to listen. We'll give Dave a shout out. Say Dave, hi, Dave. I love you, Dave. How you doing, you're, Dave? How are you? How are you, Dave? We all love Dave. I hope you're doing well, Dave. I feel like the weird Wendy's commercials from way back. Do you remember? Yeah, he's yeah. N- yeah it's That's not, not him the same though. Dave. It's not the same Dave. It's a different one. He's not like an old like guy with curly gray hair. No. Okay. Not that I know of. Not that you know of. Maybe no. one would show up. Okay. So he's recording your record. He's yes, he's, he's producing, producing it. Producing it. He's gonna play some instruments on it. He's helped a lot with tightening up the arrangements and the songs. So, um, but he's also really smart at making sure that our band stays sounding like our band and not the parasites or one of his bands. And if you look at his body of work, like he's produced uh, a live green day album Mm -hmm. in the studio and the guts and the first Flamingo nosebleed album. So he has quite the body of work. We're really lucky to have him on board. Now this is a new record. You have a new lineup. Um, Has the the, the sound changed at all since like that last song was off the last EP that you released. Have you guys changed, you know, as as a are you a three piece or you're three piece right? We're we're f- we actually just added another guitar player. Okay, uh, so Zach you're four Paul piece. from the Coolies. Okay, who, who you may know. Uh, I, I've heard of a local band. Yep. Yeah, um, we just added him because so many of our songs are written for two guitars. You have to have two right. guitars with them, and it, we played two or three shows. Right, Jesse is a three piece. And they yeah. were they were fine, but there were certain songs we just had to leave off the set list because <coughs> you could not right. You couldn't carry him off with one guitar, so right. Zach was nice enough to join. I would say the sound of the record will be uh, very similar in in terms of like upbeat punk rock, but the writing material is a lot deeper and a lot more heartfelt. Okay. And there's a lot less sort of like horror schlock, uh, so to speak, um, and more sort of personal stories. Right. Right. Wrapped in any window, of course, though, because you never want to leave it, too. No, I'm calling out names. Oh, you're going to. Yeah, yeah. I'm naming names. Lawyer up. I'm coming right after people. Lawyer up. I'm just just saying. But no, not really. I don't think. Well, maybe. I don't know who you know. The third song on the track is I hate Aaron's radio shows. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I could I could I could still go into a person. Oh, I'm sorry. I looked I looked at it wrong. It's I love Aaron's radio shows. That's then you, you probably have zero taste. Oh, that no. perhaps. That's no. That's just me being, you know, that self-deprecating. Li- that slander. Not if I'm saying it about myself. Liable. Not if I'm saying <laughs> it about myself. Oh. Not I've if I say it about myself. I lost the lawsuit. I shouldn't have. Been. So, uh, yeah, the the you're going in to do the next record. You said in June, mm-hmm. right? So, when do you think we can expect that? I'm not sure. It's it's been picked up by a label. That I can't. Yeah, that's not I can't really name yet. Uh, because you know they have to hear the final product before they right. can agree to put it out. But um, so we should record it in June, and then I'm I'm hoping it'll be out by sort of pre Christmas. Pre Christmas. So people can buy it. So probably it no tour. Stockings. Like we're playing a bunch tour. of shows with the parasites. Um, Is that in the winter? Not in the winter. Okay, I was um, say, be safe, dude. So yeah. this, so this fall, we're gonna play um, Memphis and Tulsa and Iowa City and Columbia and a, f- and a handful of cities with mm-hmm. the parasites. Dave was nice enough to <laughs> nice enough to let have you it, tag bring along. us along, tag us along. That's cool, Dave. If you're listening, w- letting us ride his coattails yeah. to fame and fortune. Fingers crossed, right? 
Yeah. Right. I'm trying to. My microphone keeps cutting out. So uh, it's it's not. Thing. It's your headphones are cutting out. Your mic's fine. Oh, I meant headphones. I confuse the two. That's okay. Um, so yeah, <laughs> since you're going out, well, why don't we just listen to um? We'll listen to a Parasites track and uh, come back and maybe we can uh, hear you guys like try out these acoustic jams for the first time, live on the air. Yeah, and this Parasite song to me, I, I chose this one because it has one of the best first lines of any punk rock love song ever written. Listen to like the first two lines and then tell me Dave is not a genius. All right. Well, I'm not going to give out the phone number for people to phone in or anything, but they can hit you up personally, right? No. 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 <laughs> All right. Well, just trust my word. Just trust him. <laughs> just trust him. All right. This is uh, The Parasites. Uh, we'll be right back with the Radio Buzzkills. <laughs> 